The Poco brand, a sub-brand of Xiaomi, has made a name for itself by providing high-end specs with mid-range price. And this year, they've again delivered the most powerful mid-range phone, the Poco F3. <laughs> The new Poco F3 5G has a premium look and feel to it. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 in the front and the back. A very common design for most premium phones, but a pain to keep it fingerprint free. We also like the fact that the screen doesn't curve as much and have less chances of unintentional touches on its edges. Speaking of fingerprints, the fingerprint sensor has been changed from under the display on the Poco F2 to the right power button in the Poco F3. We are not sure why it was changed, but for left-hand users, it will be almost impossible to unlock your phone with your left thumb while holding the phone. The 1080 by 2400 pixel display is similar to what you get from last year's model, but it has been bumped to a higher refresh rate of 120 hertz. You do get better experience when gaming and watching videos, but compared to higher end flagship phones with higher resolutions, you will see a subtle hint of oversaturation and, of course, less sharp images. The phone is now powered by a Snapdragon 870G. This chipset is just an overclock version of last year's 865G, which can be found in the Poco F2. But it is still a very speedy processor, just that you shouldn't expect a huge jump in performance. The heat from the overclock processor will be managed by Poco's new liquid cool technology. On our CPU benchmark test on Geekbench, we are getting 976 for single core and 3220 for multi-core performance. The single core performance is slightly better than Samsung's S21 Exynos processor, but loses to the S21 on Snapdragon 888. For multi-core performance, it is surprisingly slightly below the previous Poco F2 Pro, but ahead of Samsung's Galaxy S21 Ultra. For the graphics performance, our benchmark result on 3D Mark is at 4173, just slightly below Oppo's Find X3 and Samsung's S20 running on Exynos. Poco F3 is also the first phone from Poco that supports Dolby Atmos, but don't expect to get any sound stage or assume that it will sound close to a decent pair of portable Bluetooth speakers. All we can say is that it can sound really loud and do expect it to have some distortion when in full blast. The 3.5mm jack has also been removed. In the camera department, you will get a 48 megapixel, 26 millimeter wide lens, a 5 megapixel macro lens, and an 8 megapixel ultra wide that has very little distortion. This setup is pretty much what you will get in most current phones. If you are into sports photography or you struggle to take fast-moving subjects, you'll be glad to know the Poco F3 can shoot bursts of 100 pictures in seconds for the macro and wide cameras and 30 pictures for the ultra-wide camera. It also performs decently in low light and you can shoot videos of up to 4K at 30 frames per second. The front-facing camera has been improved with a large aperture to give you a tad more bouquet for your selfies. Lastly, charging time is slightly improved with 33 watt charging at 52 minutes for full charges, but there is a slight downgrade to the battery size to 4,520 milliamp an hour, and it still doesn't support wireless charging. The Poco F3 will come in three colors, Arctic White, Night Black, and Deep Ocean Blue, and will also be available in two variants of 6GB RAM plus 128GB storage or 8GB of RAM plus 256GB of storage. The recommended retail price is $549 SING dollars and $599 SING dollars, respectively. So, in summary, this is still the fattest mid-range phone you can get at a very affordable price. But if you have already owned last year's model, there's really very little reason to upgrade now. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do feel free to drop us a message. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. 
We'll see you on the next one.